Hey guys, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you guys can see, I'm like almost basically bare-faced, no makeup right now. And that is because if you guys followed me on Instagram, you saw that I posted a little snippet, a little unboxing of this beauty that I got from Milk Makeup. Somehow, a few years ago, I ended up on the Milk Makeup PR list and I'm very grateful, very excited because I love their products and every once in a while I get a magical box sent to my door full of Milk Makeup. So this is the Keep Your Cool Fresh New Jellies Bouncing in Hot. So these are jelly cooling tint things. Um, the full unboxing is on my Instagram, but today I decided it would be fun to actually try all the shades on for you. Um, this is the Cooling Water Jelly Tint in their new shades. So, first new shade we have is Fizz, which is a soft peach shade. Um, it says, not too pink, not too orange. This perfectly peach hue gives the soft warmth of a coral without the intensity. So that is one of the new ones. And then the other new one is fresh which is a soft pink it says this warm baby pink adds a subtle pop of color for a fresh face look that lasts all day on top of those two that they gave me in the box there was also four other shades so we also have burst spritz splash and chill so they gave me all of these and I'm so excited. Um, as you can see, I literally look like a ghost right now. I'm so pale. So I'm hoping that this is really going to show up well on my skin and you're going to be able to see the full effect. So they also sent me this brush, this applicator, um, and it says sweep this over the, your stain and then stipple onto cheeks for a tint that won't quit. Um, I've discovered that using these, I like to like actually put the product directly on my face and then blend it out with this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do two at a time, one on each side. So I'm gonna start with the brand new colors. This is Fizz, so this is that uh, soft peach. This is what they look like if you guys have never seen these. It's literally like jello, like it is bouncy. So I'm gonna do this one on the one it says how to gently twist off inner disc to remove I already did that swipe brush over stick then stipple onto cheeks one side at a time apply directly to lips close cap back on and store away so you know what I'm gonna try and do it how they want me to do it because this is from them so they're saying to stipple the brush onto the product and then apply it to the cheeks but I just like a lot of blush. So I feel like this way just like takes longer for me. Oh no, honestly that looks really good. You can see the difference. Oh, it's so pretty. This is my favorite. I mean, you guys know. I have very pale skin, so any like really light blush usually looks really good on me. Because it just matches my skin tone. So this is Fizz. I love that one. And then this is the other new one called Fresh. And this is a soft pink. So we're going to try this one. That's what it looks like out of the package. It's hard to tell what the colors are like before you put them on. Because um, they all just look the same. Ooh, this one's like really watery. Okay. Oh. Alright. I may have picked up too much on the brush. Oh no, okay, it blended out. It blends out really good. Also, keep in mind, I have literally no makeup on right now, so this is just going directly onto my skin. And then normally I would take like a beauty blender and kind of like bounce out the color to blend it in, but this looks really good. So this is Fresh, the other new shade. So this is Fizz and Fresh. You really can see the difference. This one is definitely more pink, and this is more of that peachy coral color. That's what I like to use, but I do really like this one. Um, I'm going to go wipe this off, and then I'll come back and do the other colors. Okay, those ones are removed, and we're back to normal. My cheeks are just, like, a little red from, like, wiping the blush off, but we're going to go back in. 
I'm gonna do these two next. This is Spritz, which is supposed to be a coral. So I'm pretty excited for this one. And then I also have Burst, which is a poppy pink. This one looks really dark, so I'm only gonna use a little bit of that one. Um, but I'm gonna keep the light and the dark. So we're gonna go in with the light over here. This is Spritz. I'm just gonna do it on the brush. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that one to be like so pigmented. I thought it was gonna be more of like a soft coral, but I guess that's the new one. I do like this one a lot. I really like that one. This is Spritz. Like April spritz. It's giving April spritz. And then we're gonna do burst, which is like I'm gonna dab this one on my skin and then like slowly blend it out. Cause this looks like it's gonna be dark. Uh maybe not though. This is how I normally apply it. I kinda like that better. It just seems to get like a better blend. I actually like this one. I feel like the like purpley undertone looks pretty good with my skin. I definitely have cool undertones. Um, so that's why sometimes like these really peachy ones look a little weird. But I really like this one a lot. I like that one. It's very subtle. It's very pretty. Blushing. We've got two more of kind of similar colors. Like these are the two I just did and these are the next two. This one's, they're both just like the darker version of those ones. So let me go take this off and then I'll do the last two. Okay, same thing. I'm a little red from taking off the makeup, but we're gonna go in with like the darkest of the, like two shades basically that they sell, the peachy corals and then the like darker purples. Um, so the darkest of the pinks is called Chill and it's actually supposed to be just like a red blush it definitely looks red i'm a little scared but i'm gonna try it oh it's so light the blendability of these is just like ridiculous guys they're so blendable and they literally just look like your skin like i can't believe it's sitting so nice on my skin with no other makeup on it's like actually just crazy I really like that one a lot. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do Splash, which is supposed to be a berry. This one definitely looks dark, but the other dark one surprised me, so let's see. They're definitely, ooh, they're definitely very buildable pigments. So like you can start slow and then build it up. Wow, in this video, I'm realizing that I think I might like berry blushes more. I love this. Splash. Splash looks so good. You definitely can see the difference in the undertones though. Like this is a pinky red and this is like a darker purpley. But they still both look really good on my skin. Like I said, I have very light skin. So it's very easy for a lot of these products to show up on my skin. Um, which I know is not the case for everybody who's buying and using these products. But for me, they work really well and I love how blendable they are. They literally feel like nothing on your skin like they feel so good and i think they work really well as a lip tint as well i'm gonna use splash on my lips just so you can see because it's like the darkest just adds a nice little bit of color but they don't like dry out my lips or my cheeks or anything like i always feel very like moisturized with these on so I just want to say thank you to Milk for sending me all of their cooling water jelly tints. I love them so much and I pretty much wear them every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are into makeup at all, go pick yourself up some of these. Apparently one jelly tint sells every 20 seconds, which is kind of crazy. So during this video, that means like 
I don't know how many, somebody can do the math, a bunch of them have sold. Um, but that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday. And a huge thank you to Milk Makeup for sending me this giant package of all their new stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.